Hey there, you. Wouldn't it be interesting to have uh, your 3D printer controlled by a game controller? Would that be fun? You ever, you ever think about doing that? Well, uh, I thought it might be fun, so we're going to do that today. And uh, all it took was a little, little, little bit of programming and uh, a little USB cable and the game controller and the 3D printer. And I uh, thought it might be fun. We're going to see how it goes right now on Matthew Rayfield Internet Television. All right, so the script is just one file, and it's a node script. Oh, hey, I forgot something. Um, I didn't make this clear, but the code runs on the laptop, and the laptop's connected to the 3D printer. It sends G code to the printer, and then the controller is also connected to the laptop. So the code's not running on the printer. That'd be pretty nice, but uh, that's not how it works. So just to clarify that, yeah. No hands. Just run it here. That's not it, that's it. And it will start printing out things from the printer and it'll tell the printer to do the home, move home, and then to heat up to, uh, I don't know, 250. And uh, so we just gotta wait for it to heat up and then we'll be ready to rock and roll. Okay, so the printer's heated up here, and I'm ready. I'm ready to print now. There we go. That's just a little little maneuvering there. Um, so the controls are as follows. We got the left analog stick moves the printer around. Right analog stick can move it up and down, and then the right uh, trigger. I don't know what you call that. Is that the trigger? The, the one that has you know some variability to it, uh, that will shoot out plastic, that will move the extruder. And depending on how hard you pull it down, more, you know, plastic shoots out. So, so let's see, I'm gonna print, I'm gonna make, um, I'm gonna make a dog. Ready? Here goes my dog. This is the ear. This is part of the ear here. Okay. This is, this is the tail. And then coming down, Got a leg here. This is a new, this is a whole new paradigm in 3D printing. It's a lot less 3D maybe than what you're what you're used to, but um, it's more intimate. It's more it's more personal than you know downloading something off Thingiverse and slicing it up and all that stuff. This is a more uh, this is a more personalized kind of a bespoke 3D printing situation here, I would say. And um, uh, this dog. Oh, this actually looks like a dog. I'm actually pretty impressed, pretty happy, pretty proud of myself here for this here dog. Should I fill it in? That's gonna take forever. I'm gonna fill it in a little bit. Ready? I've, I'm just. The controls are not good. I, I would say that they are not. You do not get a sense of immediate feedback if you're moving all around. They, uh, if you're moving in straight lines, slowly, it feels good, but doing what I'm doing now, trying to just fill this in kind of willy-nilly, like you might with a marker, right? You know, I'm trying to kind of do the marker, scratch it all in thing. That, that doesn't work. But uh, something's gonna happen here. I mean, this is working. Next, I'm gonna do something actually three-dimensional. You ready for that? Wow. Okay, this is done. This looks nice. I'm gonna move this up. Take this boy out. Wow. Check that out. You see that? Look at that bad boy. Damn. That looks good. That looks like a dog. Wow. All right. All right, now we're gonna print uh, actually something 3D here with the 3D printer. I'm gonna attempt to. I'm gonna keep getting this plastic out of the way. All right, uh, gonna move it down. I'd love to make a box, like just a square. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Whew. Just make a cube. But I don't think that's gonna actually. Oh god. Okay, I don't think that's actually gonna happen. Let's let's see what we can do. Let's give it a shot. This is going pretty well. This is the closest I've ever had it to the bed while under the gamepad controller control. Um, this is a little scary. So, what if I just... Ooh, ooh, no, not so fast. 
Yeah, the Z, the Z needs a little work as far as the sensitivity on the controls. I'm just gonna lay down. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'll be honest with you. But I had it yesterday where oh, you see this? This is I don't know if you can see this, but this is kind of like a vase mode. It's just uh, <laughs> it's just spooling up in a little a little uh, tower here. And maybe if I pull that up. This is this is really dumb. Uh, all right, no, this is gonna work. We're gonna have something kind of three-dimensional here. If I go back over that, okay, this is not gonna be a cube so much as um, maybe more like a table. I think I could do that. I could have you know four legs. Ready? This is gonna be kind of modern art type of table here. All right. Filling this in. This is working. <laughs> Despite what it appears, this is working. Uh, it's gonna be a low table, kind of a, kind of a coffee table, maybe for for like an action figure. Um, okay, filling in, filling in the side here. Yep. All right. This is the last leg. Although I might go in and and fill up those other legs a little bit. Um, and maybe do do a few cross members. But this is this is this is the most three-dimensional thing I've ever uh, made with this technique of the, the gamepad controller. Just 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 stiffening this up a little bit. Go back and add a little more to this leg here. Okay, this is okay. All right, now, now I'm just gonna do some some cross member type stuff here. It's actually, I mean, it's it's kind of the the way it loops around, and again, like I say, like it's like ramen noodles or like frosting or something. Uh, it's actually more uniform than I would think it would be, and it makes me wonder if there's potential somehow to use this in actually 3D printed objects. I don't know. Uh, that's that's as far as that thought's gone, but uh, I think there's there's something to it. There's something there. All right, that's done. That table's done, boy. No, stop. Okay. All right. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that, wow, that really stuck down there. Okay, disregard this. Disregard this piece coming off here. I'm gonna modify that. This is what they call it, post, post processing. That's what we're doing. Boom. Yeah, that's nice. That's like a, like a trampoline almost, or like a a, a mattress, like a box spring. Wow, that's what that is. That's a that's for your mattress. You put your mattress on top of that. If you 3D print a little mattress, that's your uh, box spring. Wow. Okay, box spring. Great, so that's it. That is the 3D printer controlled by the game controller. What'd you think of that video? Was that any good? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. If you wanna see more useless experiments with technology and stuff like that, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Wow, I think you'll really enjoy it. And um, what else? Oh, if you wanna see the code for this little thing, that's in the comments below, and it's pretty straightforward. It's just one file, and uh, hey, that's it. I hope you have a good day, and uh, mwah.